This video covers sputter coating gold with the SPI module sputter coater and is created in collaboration with the Michigan Center for Materials Characterization, MC squared. Before using the device, check that the sputtering unit is plugged into the control unit and that the sputter leads are connected securely. Make sure that all the units are powered off. Check the gas leak valve is finger tight. To begin, open the argon gas valve by turning it counterclockwise. Slowly open the metal vent knob Remove the sputter head, lifting it by the base and not the wires. Then remove the glass chamber. Adjust the height of the stage if necessary and place your sample stub into a slot. Check the O-ring to make sure it's clean. If it's dirty, wipe it with a clean cloth and isopropanol. Replace the gas chamber and sputter head and clean the o-ring on the sputter head if necessary. Gently tighten the vent knob. Push down lightly and power on the control unit to pump the chamber. Wait for the chamber to pump down to the mark between 80 and 100 millitor, or for the pressure indicator to slow down considerably. Then open the gas leak valve so that the pressure indicator hovers around 400 millitor for 10 to 15 seconds. Gently tighten the knob and wait until the indicator hits the mark. This process purges the chamber with argon. Repeat this process if the pressure will not reach the mark within a few minutes. Turn on the power for the sputtering unit. Turn the knob from off to sputter and select a sputter time. Do not turn the knob past 120 seconds because this will damage the controls. This equation can help determine an appropriate sputtering time. D equals KIVT is an empirical equation relating film thickness to sputtering parameters, which are detailed in the plot. For this setup, which assumes the sample is 5 centimeters from the target and the sputtering environment is clean, you can achieve a typical layer thickness by sputtering for approximately 30 to 100 seconds. After you set the sputtering time, slowly open the gas leak valve so that the pressure indicator hovers around 200 millitor. Click Start to begin sputter coating. You can adjust the leak valve if necessary to stabilize the current at 18 milliamps. You should see purple plasma inside the glass while the sample is being coated. The machine will stop after the set time has elapsed. When it's finished, turn the knob from sputter to off. Turn off the power and reset the time to 10 seconds. Close the gas leak valve and power off the control unit. Close the argon gas valve, loosen the vent knob, and remove the sputter head, the chamber, and your sample. Here is a sample after sputtering with gold. Clean the glass chamber with a soft, dry cloth. Replace the glass chamber and sputter head. Gently tighten the vent knob. Lightly push down the lid and pump the chamber. When the pressure indicator reaches 200 millitor, power off the control unit. 